In this problem, we're told to suppose you are standing on a train accelerating at 0.2 g. What minimum coefficient of static friction must exist between your feet and the floor if you are not to slide? So this is going to be our drawing. So this is going to be the train that we're standing on. So here's the train. The train's going to be on the ground. And then you're going to be standing on top of it. So this is going to be our person. And so what do we know? So we know our train's going to be accelerating at 0.2 g. So we know A is equal to 0.2 g. And so what we want to do here is label the different forces acting on our train and the person. So what do we have? So we know we have the weight force, right, which we're going to call m times g. So we have some force coming down, m times g. And then we also have the normal force acting up against it, right, because it's going up against you. So I'm going to call this f sub n. And so notice how they're asking the minimum coefficient of static friction. So we're also going to have this force. I'm going to call it f sub s, right, because the way it works is uh, this friction force, right? So imagine we have some friction here. It's going to make it harder for us to move, so we have some force acting in the other direction, right? So we need to know F sub S in order to solve this. So the formula you're going to want to use to solve this is F sub S is equal to mu sub S times F sub N. So mu sub S is essentially your coefficient of static friction, so that's what we're going to be solving for. F sub N is your normal force, and then F sub S is going to be this force right here. So what we want to do first is find uh, the sum of the forces in the x direction. So we know the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to m times a. And so what are the forces acting in the x direction? So we don't have any other force except for just our the static friction force. So we know f sub s is going to be equal to m times a. And so in this case, we don't know m, but we do know a. So what we can do is plug in a, which we know is 0.2. G. So it's going to be m times 0.2g. And so now what we can do is plug this in, uh, but first we have to find what the normal force is. So in order to find the normal force, uh, we know that the sum of all the forces, or the sum of the forces in the y direction, is going to be equal to ma, right? So it equals ma, but notice how acceleration is going to be zero. So it's really m times zero, right, which is just zero, equals, and then what are the different forces acting in the y direction? We have f sub n going up, and then it's going to be minus m times g because it's going downwards, right? So we do minus because it's going down. So in this case, f sub n is just going to be equal to m times g. All I did was move this to the other side. So if we can find m times g, uh, we can solve. So we're just going to leave it like this, though, because you're going to see how it cancels out. So we know f sub n equals m times g. And so now we can just plug in everything in the formula. So f sub s is going to be 0.2g times m which equals mu sub s, which is what we're solving for, the coefficient of static friction, times f sub n, which we know is m times g. So if you notice here, we have a g and an m on this side and a g and an m on this side, so they're going to cancel, right? We cancel this g, cancel this g, cancel this m, cancel this m. And so essentially, you're going to get 0.2 is equal to mu sub s. So essentially, this is going to be your answer, right? So the minimum coefficient of static friction is going to be equal to 0.2. So this right here is going to be the answer. And hopefully you found this useful.